think we spent most of this year bitching about our least favorite tropes in fiction. I mean, we've done panels on it, we've done Top 5 Wednesday videos about it, and I think we've talked about it in several other videos as well. And our top... okay, fine. My top least favorite trope in fiction is the chosen one. You know, the chosen one who needs to die, their special snowflake, blah blah blah, no one understands me, blah blah blah, only I can do it, blah blah blah, gag me with a spoon. And it looks like Patrick Nass feels the same way. So cue the rest of us just live here. The story about normal people who are just spending their time trying not to have their soul zapped and really just want to graduate high school before the indie kids blow up the high school yet again. Think of every movie with the chosen one. Yeah, okay, you have the main character and he's going around. He's being special. He's getting all the special privileges. He's doing his chosen one things. Now, look at that guy. No, that guy. What's he up to? What's his story? How annoying is it for him every time Harry disrupts Hogwarts? Look at the face. He does not give a crap. He is living his life and all he wants is for the weirdness that surrounds Harry to stay way the hell over there. So yeah, someone wrote a book about him. The cast of normals include Mikey, Mel, Jared, and Hannah, each having their own normal problems. Mikey and Mel are suffering from mental illnesses. Mikey is obsessive compulsive, and it's getting worse. He also really wants to ask out his friend Hannah. Mel is struggling with anorexia, triggered by their mother's political campaign, and their father is a struggling alcoholic. Hannah's brother was swept up in the last indie kid pandemic and was turned into a vampire. She's struggling to tell her family that she does not want to go on a mission trip to Africa. Jared is lonely, being one of the only out gay kids in the city, and he's also trying to suppress his cat god powers. Each chapter of the book is prefaced with a paragraph of what's happening with the indie kids. Their main character, Satchel, is trying to face down a horde of mortal something or others who are trying to take over the world. Getting these little indie kid interludes shows you just how many YA stereotypes that we're used to reading, and more importantly, it puts them in perspective, showing you how ridiculous they really are. You don't come out of reading The Rest of Us Just Live Here and think, now I want to know the indie kid story. You side with the normal characters and are quite grateful that you don't have to sit through Satchel and the indie kid's drama. You could play a drinking game counting all the stereotypes this book does not buy into and get really, really drunk. So let's begin! Characters mess around but don't end up in a long-term relationship. Characters battle with mental illness and it does not define them. Neither does religion or sexual preference. Characters experiment with their sexuality and it's not breaking news. Actions The main character is not a virgin. There is not one word about forever love. Not one word. The high school does not rely on clique systems. Except for the indie kids, but they're special. I really have to do this, don't I? Okay. Listen to me. The romance subplot is not saved as the big payoff at the end. Parents know about underage drinking and they teach responsibility. Though it's, it's never mentioned again. Characters ate food. They consumed liquid. And it wasn't because the, one of the characters was anorexic. The parents were actually in the novel. Like, actually there. Doing actual things with natural reactions and stuff.
You appreciate the honesty and lack of gimmick of the rest of us just live here by the time you're done. It's a solid read that's a great hangover cure when you've read just a little bit too much fantasy. It's a book you will probably read once and then find yourself coming back to a few years later just because it's so refreshing. The concept of the book is what will grab your attention, but it won't be why you stay. I'm definitely looking forward to what else I can read by Patrick Ness. That's our review, and if you liked us, subscribe down below, or better yet, 